I got word from Tatooine. Six holocalls, a few payments to the right people, and Milo's a free man. All I need to do is meet him and his security escort at Anchorhead, but Milo's still in a bad way. We shouldn't keep him waiting. I appreciate it, but I should probably take this one. If Milo's really unstable, too many people might scare him. I'll take a shuttle to Tatooine and see Milo get somewhere safe. Shouldn't risk him hurting himself or blowing up someone else's starship. Thinking he was dead. It was almost easier than this. Milo could know what happened to you when you were captured. It's worth a shot. Don't worry. I'll make sure I'm ready for trouble before I move out. See you soon. I got Milo off Tatooine okay, but... Heck, I don't even know where to start. Milo was trying to talk to me, but he couldn't get the words out. He kept using other languages, equations even. Like, his mind was shattered. Regrettably, I have experience in this area. I tried asking him about when we were captured, if he knew anything. If I understood him right, Milo said a doctor came into his cell. She showed him a glowing box. That's when it all went wrong inside his head. Thing is, Milo said this doctor used that box on me, too. I don't like where this is going. And you didn't see Milo. How do you think I feel? So Milo's lady doctor used a glowing box on both of us. I lose seven days of memory, and Milo loses his mind. A glowing box. Maybe a new Imperial torture device. If it was experimental, that may explain why it had such drastically different effects on you and Milo. But unless we find one and take it apart, there's no way to be sure. I think Milo tracked the doctor to Tatooine. He thought the starship he blew up was hers. He gave me a picture, assuming it's actually her, that might give us a lead. I'll see what I can find out.